Yesterday, I told you that the U.S. Africa Leaders Summit commences today in Washington, D.C. And I promised to keep you posted on what will be transpiring that side as Ugandans were planning to put up protests against President Museveni. Now, Remy Bahati, a Ugandan journalist based in the U.S. through her social media platform, has reported that Ugandans that side are very serious about the protests and they have started converging in Washington, D.C., where President Museveni is right now. Ugandans from different U.S. states opposed to President Museveni's rule have started to trickle into Washington, D.C., one by one ahead of the U.S. Africa Leaders' Summit kicking off tomorrow, which is today. These have planned what they call massive protests against the Ugandan delegation. Well, there you go. That is a statement coming in from uh, Remy Bahati, a Ugandan journalist based in the U.S. And I'll be giving you more, more updates, possibly pictures or even videos in case these Ugandans decide to proceed with their programs. Now, President Museveni has laughed at the opposition leaders jubilating over the sanctions put on the former IGP General Kale Kaihura by the U.K. government. President Museveni has said that foreign governments which are fond of using these types of approach, that is their choice and it's none of his business. Museveni furthermore said that as long as he's still in power, he will never make a mistake of handing over any government official to the ICC International Criminal Court. Now, Abdallah Mwenyi, a Ugandan national, has been arrested in Malawi for allegedly being found in possession of firearms and 54 live ammunition which police have already confiscated. However, little is still known about this guy, but according to reports, he says he's a Ugandan and the police is still trying to understand who this person is and uh, the mission he was possibly up to. A big section of Ugandans have said this guy is not a Ugandan because in Uganda, we don't have such names. He's called Mwenyi and uh, this name sounds like uh, Tanzanian or Kenyan as if it's a Swahili name. Anyway, that is the latest update coming in from uh, Malawi. Uh, if you can identify this guy, maybe your relative, uh, the information about him is that right now he's in police custody down in Malawi. Well, there you go. That is the latest update I have for you right now on the Buzz UG. And in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fuller, and it's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio jump.